Well, welcome. I am here to have a very exciting conversation today, a conversation that will remind everybody that the Shadows of the Mind Film Festival is back after a two-year COVID-related hiatus. Welcome to you, Bill McPherson, co-director and festival programmer. It's great to be back, Heidi. Really uh, happy to, uh, to be here. We hope everybody's ready to put down the remotes, stop watching TV, and come on out and join us for five days of cinema. Certainly, certainly. So a homegrown festival incepted, I think, in our conversation, you had said 2019, no, 2001. 2001-ish, yeah. 2001, and certainly one that has gained significant momentum over the years um, and certainly uh, expanded its reach in terms of, of international notoriety, um, attendees. So, so talk to me a little bit about the intent. Now, I know that when you select films, it's you select films based on their ability to engage discussions and dialogues around addictions and mental That's health. That's correct. Okay. We look at through the, the lens of our community as well. Mm -hmm. So we look at what are the issues that are impacting our community, what is the entertainment value, and the educational value. And that's the beautiful thing about film, is that yeah. you can learn and you can uh, uh, educate yourself and be entertained at the same time. Right. And I think those are the kinds of things that we look at. As well, we look at bringing new people in and, and, and looking at maybe some films from uh, different countries uh, with different issues. So it just gives you a real blend of what's happening worldwide as well. Okay, now I know that you do have a committee and I was reading that the committee often will pick a theme um, and try and kind of select films based on the theme. Can you share a little bit about the theme uh, this year? Well, this year I think is what we're really looking at is addictions and mental health. We're getting back to it because okay. you'll see in the news is that uh, there, uh, you know, there's uh, opioid uh, fentanyl crisis. Yes. And we're looking at also engaging community partners to be able to uh, present the issues with themselves. We have five um, by donation films that are, are available with four of them have uh, panels Saturday morning 9 a.m. you're gonna have to get out of bed <laughs> is uh, we're uh, screening uh, love in the time of fentanyl okay. which is uh, going to be facilitated by the Agoma Public Health and which is going to be bringing community partners to talk about this important issue yes and definitely an important issue from our com our community lens, given you know the ongoing dialogues, you know, yeah. and, and and the desire to effectively address these very significant and critical issues in our community. Um, okay, so we have a significant lineup, uh, two films that have actually been nominated for Academy That's Awards. That's correct. Close is going to be uh, it was nominated for a uh, best international film from Belgium. Okay. And that will be our first screening uh, in conjunction with Algoma International Films. Wow. So that'll be Wednesday evening. So we're really excited about that. And the second one is All the Beauty and the Bloodshed, okay. which is a dynamic documentary, which really goes into uh, the Sackler family. Okay. Is uh, Gan, uh, Nan Golden. And it really talks about uh, uh, th them trying to uh, advocate against the uh, the crisis of medications and oxyco oxycodone and so it's a really well done documentary so we'll help people come out to see that okay excellent so now you can buy individual tickets for $14 That's correct. and tickets will go on sale starting tomorrow you can purchase them through the website as well as at the um, station mall ticket box office so going on sale starting tomorrow, box office and uh, the box office is Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, but there are also fantastic um, package deals that you could get. Tell us about right. those. Right, is that a festival pass is $125, will get you to all the movies. So that is 14 feature movies and the five by donation pay what you can movies uh, and reserve seating okay. at the grant. Okay. Is that the, we also have... Uh, a uh, five pack so you get five movies for the price of four right. and so that is a saving so that works out to about twelve dollars a movie okay. so we've tried to keep prices uh, at pre-covid levels so that we can get people I know everybody's going you know with the inflation and that yes. so we're yes. gonna you know we're gonna try and make it uh, affordable for people to come out and join us excellent okay now 
in terms of, okay, so you said it, it spans five days. That's correct. Now, are all of the screening times at the same time, or you have different? They're all staggered. It's that one after another. You get to see all the movies. There's not two movies playing at once. Okay. So what we'll Excellent. have is that they're all at the Grand, and they'll, uh, they'll start uh, in the morning and run through. We have our, our booklets are available. The schedule is available online at www.shadowsfilmfest.com. Okay. Excellent. Is that uh, you can pick and choose. Uh, you know, you, you know, if you can't find five movies in here that you're going to be excited about, <laughs> well, you know, I don't know what to say. So. Okay, and I'm assuming as well. I, I you know, so these booklets you're going to want to look for them. Um, where are they located? They're the going table? to be available at our box office, and we're going to be dropping them off at various locations. Okay. There's also on our website there's a PDF version of this as well. Oh, brilliant! So Fantastic. that you can just look and scroll through. But okay. here's uh, the people like to mark and make notes yeah. and all that stuff. So. Excellent. And they're hot off the press. Just picked them up this morning. So, <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> All right. Okay. Well, as always, when I do these conversations, I do, in, you know, I wrap it up in a nice summary article. So I will include all of the relevant hyperlinks that will take you directly to the PDF, that will take you directly to their website should you uh, wish to purchase tickets from the comfort of your own home. Bill, I want to thank you so oh, much for you. making time today here to be with me to talk to us about uh, this, this very exciting festival. Once again, homegrown festival that just continues to grow. So let's make sure that we get out as a community and we support this event because it is important on so many levels, not just to our local economy, but as well to you know engage and continue the very important dialogues around mental health and addictions. Thank you so much, Perfect. Bill. Perfect. See everybody.